What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Steez and I am back with another story time, as promised. So, if y'all watched my last video when I did my everyday bag and wallet um, pickup that I got from Coach, I started telling a little story about why I carry a very small and compact wallet. So, I'm going to link that video down below. Make sure you go watch that. But... This is the story. This is the reason why I carry a small wallet. So, like I told y'all, the person that I was talking about, they deserve their very own story time because they were gooping the girls, okay? They was gooping the girls, the boys, and anybody else whose stuff that they could get their hands on, okay? Sticky fingers very much. So, if you want to hear the rest of this story... Make sure you stick around, and I don't know if you can see, but I got my braces off, y'all, and for all y'all hating this, bitches in the comment talking about I got a lisp. No, the fuck I don't. Hmm. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you like, share, and comment on my videos, and I will be right back. <laughs> y'all so i'm gonna get straight into the story because she was off the hook all right y'all so this housekeeper at my job i'm gonna call her laquita because she was giving very much laquita or bonquisha or something but for the purposes of this story we can call her laquita okay so yo miss laquita she she was she was robbing everybody. So as most of y'all know, or some of y'all know, I work in healthcare, right? So we are housekeepers that work on our floor, of course. So, y'all, Miss Laquita was very much rough around the edges. Now, she, we used to call her, we used to call her La Chat or Project Pet, because all the black people need it. Like, we used to... We used to just be tripping off of her because she was, she was a mess. That's, it's not a way to put it. She was a hot ass mess. So we'd be like, go ahead, Project Petta. She was giving Project Petta. Yo, she had fronts, top and bottoms. Period. Don't play with her. She had the big gold dookie chains, all the rings. Like she, like she was giving, it's my trap. Queen, let me hit the band though. Maybe count it up when we hit the band So, y'all, most of my co workers used to be like scared of her. And she used to be like, Yeah, what's going on? Da, 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 da. Like, giving very much DMX. Like, she used to be giving very much DMX. So, most of my co workers used to be like scared to ask her to do stuff. So, let me tell you, let me tell you how it happened, right? So, Stuff used to just, like, come up missing, right? So, she started, like, acting weird. So, you know, like, the little buzz around my unit was, like, you know, people would be, like, yo, I just went to go get lunch and my wallet gone. So, I mean, it's a big place where I work. It's a very big place. It's a lot of traffic. It's a lot of people. People moving out. People moving in. Because, I mean, it's people coming in and out, right? So, okay. Your wallet went missing. It's a lot of suspects, right? So, one of my coworkers, he come back and he's like, Yeah, man. He's like, a called me card company. And they said something about my card was used at a footlocker in Mandamin. So I'm like, I'm sitting at the desk, I'm like, I was like, Mon dog, man. Y'all, if you're not from Baltimore, y'all gotta watch one of my other story times where um my coworker girlfriend was trying to stab me. I was working at this mall back when I was in college or whatever. So I'm very familiar with this mall. So that was the first law. Blink that one off. I was like, okay. 
I'm like, they had more dorm. I'm like, somebody black took the wallet. Not stereotyping, but I know my people. These people I work with, they don't know nothing about no Mondorm. And they, sure enough, wouldn't be caught in West Baltimore at no damn Mondorm. So I'm like, okay, we know for sure it wasn't a, a, um, a doctor. It wasn't a nurse. It wasn't none of these people. So I'm like, okay. So we never went. We, I'm, not we, because they were scary. They wasn't even trying to investigate. So I'm never, I'm taking my notes. I'm like, Okay, Mondorm, and I'm like, somebody black took the wallet. I'm like, foot like a Mondorm, okay, okay, okay. So then, probably like a few days later, this other girl I work with, she's like, someone took my wallet. She's like, man, my military ID in it. So now I can understand why she was, well, I can understand why anybody is mad that someone took a damn wallet. You know what I'm saying? Like your ID in there, credit cards, all this stuff, right? So the person who take her wallet, she called, she like, this person went and bought $40 worth of sandwiches from Jimmy John's. Y'all, that's a sub shop. So I'm like, again, You know, this is our people tendencies. So, so I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, they done bought thirty dollars worth of stuff from, from Jimmy John. I'm like, okay, so they done went they done bought dinner for their family. They done bought subs. So then as she's on the phone or looking up her stuff for her card, she's like, and here go a thirty dollar charge at seven eleven. Now I'm not no thief, but hey, if I know that I'm somewhere where these people got a little bit of coins. I'm not going to no goddamn Jimmy John's or to no Foot Locker. I'm going to cash out. Like, I'm going to spend, 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 spend. So, I'm like, whoever this person is, they buying petty little stuff, right? So, she would come into work and people would be, you know, people talking about it. They like, yeah, you hear um, Mike got his white, his uh, his wallet taken. You hear Cheryl got her wallet taken. Susan Wallet comes up missing. So she comes to me like, she like, oh, you hear uh, somebody up here taking people wallets. So I'm on the side of my, I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard, you heard. She like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, mm-hmm. Well, what you did when you got off? Oh, uh, you know, I went up. I went up, uh, me and Jerry went to the store. So I'm like, mm, you and Jerry, what store y'all went to? What store you and Jerry went to? Right? So, I'm like, I know it's her. So all of the transactions happened, like, right after the time she got off. So I'm like, okay, we work 12-hour shifts. Housekeeping and stuff like that, they work 8-hour shifts. So... Once they leave, we still got four more hours to work. So, I'm like, something is not right. I'm like, I know that this is her. But I couldn't prove it, right? I cannot prove it to save my life. So, in the midst of all this investigating the wallet, right? She come in because one of her family members passed away, right? So she's telling this sob story. She like, yeah, we having all this family coming over. And we don't even got no food to feed them at the repast. So y'all, people say, people say I'm mean, but I'm not mean. I'm really, I'm really such a nice person. Like, and I'm really caring and giving. So I felt bad. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, y'all having a friend and... Y'all not gonna have no food to feed people after the fan. After the fan, you're supposed to have food, a little something, something for the people, right? So, me and one of my homegirls, I'm like, girl, y'all, she, we need to take donations for her, for her family member. Because on our unit, anytime anybody passes to my family, we take donations so they can get what they want or, you know, whatever, right? It's a gift from the union, you know, our condolences. So I'm like, well, since she said they need food, uh, food for the repast, let's, you know, gather up to get them food to make sure they have for the repast. 
So, y'all, me, my homegirl, her mother, we, I mean, we getting down, y'all. Her mother made them, I mean, they had uh, greens, beans, potatoes, hogs, moths, everything, okay? We got them chicken, fish, greens, potato salad, pasta salad, meatballs, I mean, everything, sodas, juices, I mean, literally anything you want. And imagine, this is for a repast, for after a funeral. So just imagine how much food we took over there. It was a lot. Cakes, pies, everything. I mean, you know, black people, when something happened, we pull together to make sure that everybody's fine, right? Despite me having an inkling that, you know... She probably was stealing people while listening. While you was down at 7-Eleven and Jimmy Jones and Foot Lockers, you, you should have been at Stop Shop and Save or at Food King or at Food Line or at Giants or somewhere getting food for the repast. That's what you should have been doing. So anyway, me and my homegirl goes to her house, right? We taking her all the food and all, you know, tell her kids, family, like, y'all come get this out, you know, so y'all can have this for the funeral. So her boyfriend, I'm going to call him Jared. So I rode with my hunger. I was like, girl, we taking one car. I was like, because she lived down in the hood, baby. And I'm born and raised in Baltimore. I'm from West Baltimore, Benton, and Lafayette to be exact, baby. But this was East Baltimore hood. So I told my homie, I said, girl, we is riding together. She from over West too. So, you know, when people from over West come over East, you got to be ready for whatever, right? Because it goes down over East like, ooh, okay. You know, whatever. But so me and her rode together. So Jerry is out here making counterfeit money sales. But he's doing it like, Right in front of us. He don't know who we is. We could have been the police or whatever. So here he go. DMX Jr. talking to the boy. He like, yeah, yo, if you give me a, um, a real $50 bill, I'll give you 100 in fake in fake money. So I'm saying, hey, I'm looking at my home. I'm like, bitch, you hear that shit? And she like, yeah, she like, let's hurry up and drop this shit off so we can get going. So, we dropped this stuff off and all this stuff, right? So, the next day, we come back to work. Well, who comes up to us other than Miss Laquita? So, Miss Laquita, like, Jerry on the phone. Jerry want to talk to you. So, I'm like, hello. He like, yo, that food job made was banging. He like, I need you to make me some more of that pasta salad that you made. So, I'm like... Oh, okay, I'm like, well, how was it? I'm like, did everybody enjoy it? I ain't gonna tell y'all what he told me, y'all. Because y'all ain't even gonna believe it. He says, All that food y'all bought us, we ate that for dinner for the next day. I said, oh, y'all ate it for dinner? Y'all, They didn't take any of the food to this repass. So I go around, when I put my homegirl up, I'm like, bitch. Why Jerry just called up here talking about they ate their food for dinner? She was like, what? I said, yo. Like, we just got played i'm like yo we just got played so bad but i said you know what the lord is gonna bless us right so i said i'm not even gonna worry about it it is what it is okay it is what it is i ate the food for dinner hope you enjoyed it right so then she keep coming like yeah um can you make me some more of this can you make me some more of this i was like la quita no, Laquita. Because at this point, now I'm not calling you Miss Laquita. Laquita, no. 
Like, girl, you don't do that. Why would you lie? Like, why would, why would you lie and get this sob story talking about y'all can't feed your family, y'all don't have nothing for the repast, but then you turn around like, yeah, me, my kids, and my boyfriend, and my grandkids, we fucked that up for dinner. That is not cool. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, now, she, she burning me up, right? So... A couple days go by, another wallet goes missing. So this time, this girl, and I really felt bad for her because she had three kids. So she's like, somebody went to this gas station somewhere like nearby our job. And after that, it was like, I'm going to just say she got off at four o'clock. The transaction was at, like, 4.10. I said, okay. I, w I was like, at this point, I wanted, like, confirmation that it was her. Because I was like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So, I went on Google Maps. I'm like, how long do it take to get from point A to point B? It was about eight minutes. So, I was like, okay. Give or take a little bit of traffic. It takes two extra minutes. I said, that's her ass i said i know that's her ass right so i said let me get my damn investigative skills so i caught um the damn gas station y'all so i put on my voice i was like hello oh my goodness i'm gonna be in so much trouble i work for the government and i had to stop at your gas station but i have my jobs credit card and you know, I have to turn in the receipt for my gas mileage. And if not, they're saying they're going to let me go. So the guy, he like, uh, okay. I'm like, is it possible that I come down there? And I was like, uh, they just need all of this information from me. I was like, they need to know what pump I was on and all this stuff. I was like, do you have cameras? Because I really don't remember. Like the guy, he was just so dumb, like. If I got, well, I guess that is possible to get gas and I remember what pump he was on, but I don't know. I guess he really was getting to it. I told him I was getting ready to be fired for my job and all this stuff. So he was like, yeah, sure. He was like, I'll print a receipt for you. He was like, you can come look at the cameras. He was like, you know, he's like, that's not a problem. So I go back and tell the nurse, um, what should I call her? Nurse, I'm going to call her Nurse Susan. So I go tell Susan, I'm like, Sue, I said, the man said you can come look at the cameras and get the receipt. I'm like, so you'll be able to see who took your card, who, what car they was driving, the tag number. I'm like, look, sis, I set you up to go and get, you know, and go and do what needs to be done. Okay. So she's like, can you ride down there with me? I'm like, Sue. Girl, I work tomorrow. No, go down now. I'm like, you'll be fine. I said, just go in. Tell him you called. Tell him you need your receipt. You called yesterday. I gave him your name, girl. He know you coming. Like, go get what you need to get. See what you need to see and go. She's like, I have to find someone to ride with me because I'm really, really scared. So I'm like, girl, you done had me do all this damn investigative work. And now, you're scared? Girl, I'm figuring out what happened to your money. Like, okay. So, I need you to be on board because you was on board when you wanted me to call down to the gas station, okay? They like, this is a good idea. Yeah, come on. Shit, wasting my time. So, y'all, after I did all this damn investigative work, the girl was talking about she was scared to go to the damn gas I mean, the gas station was in the hood. But I told a girl, go in the daylight. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing for you. The most they gonna look at you is like, what's this white lady doing down here? But you, girl, you won't be fine. Ain't nobody worried about you, right? But you know how some of them at. So I'm like, whatever. Then, we hear another story. So we had some travelers that, you know, come in and, and go or whatever, right? So, the story goes, they gonna say they saw Laquita. Alright, let's just say you got your purse, right? This is gonna be my purse, right? My purse is sitting right here. 
So the traveler says she set her purse on the desk at the nurse's station, right? So someone else says that when they came by, they saw Laquita with the purse down on the floor. So I'm like, well, did y'all confront her? Because, I mean, I, hello, it was right there in front of you. Did y'all confront her? They didn't confront her because they were scared to confront her. They was like, I didn't want her to curse me out. I didn't want her. I was like, so you gonna let somebody, you gonna let somebody dig in your purse in front of you? Oh, this is a different, oh, this is a different type of scary. I ain't never met no scary people like this. Like, you gonna see somebody with your belongings and you not gonna say nothing? Them gold teeth would have been on the floor. Period. Like, <laughs> like, nah, they don't go on my stuff. That's one thing, baby. Don't touch my stuff. I don't care what it says. You need my bag move. If you need anything, then you come to me and I do it. So I'm like, y'all literally say that y'all saw her with this girl purse that was on the table. She had it on the floor next to her, but y'all ain't said to me. Y'all was too scared. I said, y'all ain't called security. Y'all didn't do anything. So I was like, at that point, I was like, okay, you deserve to get your stuff taken because that's just next level fucking stupid right so this happens well guess what else ha guess what guess what happened to our boy jerry jerry gets shot y'all and who do i find trying to get into the supply room to steal gauze and all type of stuff for Jerry. So I'm like, what are you doing? Like trying to get in the supply room. What are you doing? She like, uh, Jerry got shot. This, this voice of hers, it's hold up. It's making my throat scratchy. So she's like, um, she like, yeah, Jerry got shot in his butt or whatever. So he got treated over. A good Samaritan. So I was like, all right, when you get shot or anytime you leave the hospital, they send you home with supplies. So she like, well, I need extra supplies. And I'm like, well, this stuff, like, I don't know if y'all know, but like, stuff is very, very expensive. A band-aid, a band-aid gonna run you if you get it from the hospital about, about 50, 60 dollars for one band-aid. So you better off bandaging it at home. This is not medical advice. Okay. I'm just saying, it's for entertainment purposes only. But basically what I'm saying is the supplies there is very high. So I'm like, okay, you could go to CVS and buy him extra gauze or stuff like that. Like, why are you trying to steal it? Like, yo, she had had the stuff. She was like, well, don't worry about it. I'll get it from somewhere else. She was like, I can't stand that fat ass bitch. So I was like, so yo, I was crying left at this point. I said, oh my gosh. I said, not a fat ass bitch. I was like, but... Last week, bitch, you was a hungry ass bitch, okay? So, don't fucking try it with me, Miss Girl, okay? Hungry ass. So, yo, she was hot with me. She <laughs> she was hot with me. I ain't get her that damn supplies for dry ass. I was like, bitch, go to CVS, bitch. Since, you, since I'm a fat ass bitch, take your motherfucking ass to CVS and sell your fucking food stamps, bitch. So... She ended up getting fired. I don't know what she got fired for, right? So we're thinking we all clear from the thieves. Well, we get another goddamn housekeeper up there with sticky fingers. Now, this girl was a young girl, right? So she come and she get, <laughs> she get enough for everything. Y'all, she got one of my homeboys while he was sitting at the desk went straight in his went straight in his pocket so like say i'm sitting right here and i'm on the computer and my jacket hanging over the back of my thing sis was acting like she was sweeping he had some money in his um in his little jacket pocket that we wear sis took it so <laughs> let me tell you what i did i was sick of it y'all five below had these little fake ass cameras right so they look real, they motion sensor, they was $5. So 
So we had two break rooms and that's where most of our stuff was being missing from. Because of course you can't put cameras up in the floor, out on the floor. So she was getting most of her stuff from out the break room. So I said, I'm going to fix this bitch. I seen this at, at five below. I said, let me get these damn cameras. So we got a little handyman on our unit named Josh. I said, Josh, hang these up in the room. He was like, we can't put cameras. I said, Josh, these is from, these is from five below. Shut up. They take two goddamn double A batteries. I said, the only people who know that these is fake is me and you. And let's just see what happened. This is an experiment. Okay. So we waited till everybody was out doing something. So I gave him to him. He went in there with the ladder. He put him up, right? So this one gave me the inkling that it was her. She was like, oh, y'all got cameras in here? I was like, girl, yes. I said, they had to put cameras in here. I said, because somebody keeps stealing um everybody's stuff. She was like, dang. So this was my thing. She used to come on night shift, and I really don't work night shift that often. But they were saying that instead of her cleaning up the unit, what she was supposed to be doing, she would be hanging in a brick room, and then somebody's stuff would go missing and all this stuff. So I told him, I said, listen, listen, I'm divisive. I'm very fucking crafty. So I said, this, okay, this is what y'all do. Everybody bring a bag. I said, somebody wanted y'all guys go to um Home Depot Ace Hardware, go somewhere. I said, don't get a mouse trap, get a rat trap. But you know, one of the ones I told them, see if they got a big ass mouse trap. But one of the ones that go that when the fuck you put something on it, go down. I said, get some bags, put some little miscellaneous stuff in the bags in the purse just to make it look like it's something. I said, so when she stick her hand in it, that's. I said, then when y'all hear her scream, then that's when y'all go back there and y'all get her. Just get her. I was like, just get her. Because that's one thing. I don't play that thieving stuff. Leave people's stuff alone. It's like we just got rid of one person and then here you come. So that make me believe that Laquita was down there like, yeah, y'all. Go up on the eighth floor because I'm up there hitting licks. So I feel like she was spreading the word, letting them know, like, yeah, like, they easy lick. So, yo, I had me, my wallet was about this big because I said, I'm not getting got and y'all be leaving your stuff. So I said, I'm going to put the wallet up here. I'm going to put it in my pocket. I'm going to put it in my jacket. I'm putting my wallet on me because if, if you try to take my wallet, you're going to you're gonna have to come up on me for it. You gonna have to come up on me for it, and I ain't letting it well, go. Let me tell y'all how how she got caught. So we had another housekeeper, and y'all probably like, God damn, fire all the goddamn housekeepers, cause they all got sticky fingers, right? So this lady, Miss Deborah, y'all, Miss Deborah was so sweet, but oh my goodness, she was, she was a bird brain, like she was so slow. So she was like, man. Y'all know that girl that used to be working up here? I was like, yeah. I said, Miss Debbie, I said, I really think, she, I said, I think that girl was up here stealing. I said, because every time she would come up here, I said, all our stuff would get missing. So she was like, yeah, she a damn thief. So I was like, well, how you know she a thief? Yo, Miss Debbie said, Miss Debbie said she stole her cell phone. She said, she said, man. She stole my cell phone. She said, she asked me, can I use your phone to call and check on my kids? She said, the girl left and ain't never came back with her phone. <laughs> the girl left and ain't never come back with me. Give Miss Debbie her phone. Why you steal her phone, girl? You don't steal anything. Yo, that joint was so funny. I was like, yeah. I said, sis definitely was up here standing. We just had too many, too many thieves. And... It, it was just crazy, like, so, y'all know I always, in the story time, I always drop a piece of advice, I know I got young people, old people, <clears throat> medium, I was gonna say medium people, people of all ages follow me, right, y'all all subscribe to my channels, and I do know that a lot of people carry their social security cards in their wallet, this is a sound piece of advice, I don't care what age you are, 
do not, and I mean do not, under any circumstances, carry your social security card in your wallet every single day. The only time that you may need your social security card or need to bring it out is if you're taking it somewhere, you know? So, my word of advice. Don't put your social security cards in your wallet because guess what? If you do, then people have everything that they need to know about you. They have your ID, which has your name, date of birth, your address. If you have your social security card, <laughs> guess what? They have your social. And if you got credit cards or bank cards in there, guess what, boop? They're you. They have all of your information. So if they call the bank, if they want to open a account, if they want to do anything on your card or under your identity, they can. They have all of your information. So that's my little piece of advice for people who are stealing. That's why I call, um, carry very small and compact wallets. Because if you want something to vote for me, you will have to, <laughs> you will have to come get it from Steve's. You will have to come get it, I'm telling you. But, y'all, this story was just a mess. It was funny. So, if you like the story, make sure you drop me a like. If you got a thief at your job or at your house or somebody that you know is a thief, y'all, make sure y'all keep your stuff safe. Because y'all know people be out here trying to get come up. So, protect your information. Protect all your stuff at any cost. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, don't be out here scamming and doing the PPP loans. Period. And I'm out.